Hello everybody, it's good to be back with you. So uh, this video is going to be a lot of fun to cut and I hope it's going to be a lot of fun to watch. I bet it is. And um, I also hope, and most importantly, that this is going to uh, bring something tremendously important and completely obvious into your localized sense of attention. So the most common line that I hear I have only heard this, oh, a few thousand times. <laughs> I've only heard it from a little over a thousand people, perhaps, but, uh, but I've heard it a number of times from all of them. Really. And, or virtually all of them. You know, you're, you're, somebody's an exception, but I don't know who. The, uh, and, and here's what they say. <clears throat> they say, Fred, <clears throat> I, just, I, I really have got to find my true nature. Because here's the deal. You know, I get this thing in my head. I mean, I've read this all the non-duality for years and years, and I understand it. Um, and I understand the whole oneness thing. My problem is, is that I'm just not experiencing it. It's not part of my experience. And I just tell them, okay, well, I think you're probably in the right place. But here today, I'm going to let the cat out of the bag. And what I'm going to tell you is that everybody who's ever said that, and have you ever said that? Have you ever thought that? Everybody that has, which because I sure thought it, I thought it for a long time. I get it. I understand it. Yes, there's all, it's all one da da da. da. And, and and I really thought I did. I just, but it wasn't part of my experience, you know. So here's the deal, though. It's actually, reality always works 180 degrees from the way that we think. I have um, a, a, a video on that, and I think I've got maybe even two videos now, but I don't know. I've got a video or two out there uh, based on the 180 paradox. And um, so everything works exactly backwards. So what I'm telling you is that oneness actually is your experience. You just don't understand it intellectually. <laughs> Man, tell me that's not going to pop some balloons. And it's absolutely true. And and I can prove it to you. At the drop of a hat. I'm surprised people aren't doing this kind of thing more often than they are. I don't know why. See, everything works backwards. And everybody's coming in trying to burst into the, you know, into uh, spirituality and enlightenment and all that, and they're coming through the front door, all of them. And they're hitting that front door and bouncing right off. <laughs> See, this teaching takes you through the back door. Takes you through the secret door. And here's the secret, is that it really is Oneness really is your experience. You just don't understand it intellectually. You know why you don't understand it intellectually? Because you don't actually understand what oneness means. Let's look at this. Why don't you pretend to be oneness for just a minute, and I'll ask you a question. So which of these two make more sen makes more sense to you? Are you Bob or Susan, Ted or Carol, whoever, pretending to be oneness right now? Or are you oneness pretending to be that character? Which is true. I mean, is there any way actually that you can't be oneness pretending to be a character? Because, I mean, if there's, there's only oneness, then that means that there's only one of them. <laughs> so my question is this, and I'm going to, so you can see, surely, but you can see your oneness. So I'm going to address you as oneness, and here's the deal, oneness. Let me, let, let me ask you if this makes any sense. Because when you tell me it's not part of your experience, but you understand it intellectually, oneness, then what I notice is that oneness is sitting over there telling me, Fred, I understand the truth, but I'm not having the oneness experience. 
What? <laughs> oneness is not having the oneness experience? Is that what you're reporting to me? So, I mean, let me ask. Does, do, you, do you agree with the oneness concept? I mean, it's the only thing that not all of non-duality non-dual, agrees with, whether it's Zen or Advaita or, or Sufism or the Kabbalah or Christian mysticism or whatever it is. Everybody pretty much gets their, 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 everybody's pretty well set on the fact that there's just one thing going on here. So if there's just one thing going on here, is there any way you can not be it? Is that possible? No. See, if there's just one thing going on, then you have to be it by default because one means one. Isn't that right? One equals one. So, since there's just one thing, it means that there's that 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 that, that what's watching this video is the same thing that's cutting the video, which is oneness. See, we actually have to be the same thing. If there's just one thing going on, and that's what we're all, everything else that we do is built around, isn't it? Everything we talk about and everything we build around. And we can talk about, you know, manifestation and unmanifested and all that kind of stuff later. But right now, let's just look at this core oneness thing. Oneness cannot not be oneness's experience. The difference is you can be oneness and think that you're not having the oneness experience. You can believe that you are not having the oneness experience. But the thing that's not believing it's having the oneness experience is oneness. Can't not be because there's only one thing going on. You have to be it, right? This may seem twisty and curvy and everything. It's not. It's so direct. This is the most incredibly direct teaching. I mean, this... Really, I expect to hear from pe that people are waking up from this video all over the place. I really do. So come, come and talk to me if you do, because you're gonna, you're gonna want to be able to clear up. In other words, you want to be able to sit. You want to be able to get this thing in this moment, and this moment, and this moment, and this moment, and this moment. Now, 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 and now, and now, and now, and now. Because the thing is, is that the world is always morphing. There's, there's just this, the, your experience, which is what the world is. You are experiencing with an I-N-G, okay? The, uh, I stole that from Sailor Bob. God bless him. And, but it's the truth. I stole it from him because it's the truth, which he wouldn't consider it theft. I got a note up there from him right there that says that, that these are now my own words. I don't have to call them Bob's words. I can call them my own because they are part of my experience and they're part of yours. You are experiencing ING and your experience is constantly changing. That's the whole point of experience is changing. But when you but when it changes, you get confused. Because you're so caught up in this being the greatest arising ever or the worst arising ever that you completely forget who's having, who's experiencing the arising. Oneness. Oneness is always having the oneness experience. The difference is you didn't expect oneness to look like this, did you? This is what oneness looks like. This is oneness. The video is oneness. The statue is oneness. The plant is oneness. I mean, it's just one thing going on. What cannot be part of oneness? Nothing. Because there's only oneness. There can't be anything outside of oneness. There can't be you know, anything in addition to oneness, which includes the viewer of this video. There can't be oneness plus the viewer of this video. You see this? It's just one thing. One. The math of one. One equals one. But you do not understand it intellectually. That's because what you're what you're what, what you're, you're making the same mistake that everybody makes. Everybody, including me and everybody, and including me and Buddha and and Ramana Maharshi and all these great people, they all made the same mistake until they didn't. 
and the mistake is, is that what I'm, what I'm thinking about oneness is that I'm thinking oneness starts right on the other side of this skin. See, I don't recognize that this unit is part of oneness. I think that this unit is experimenting. Okay, I see everything's part of one. Okay, I, 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 I can't get this that it's all one, but I just don't understand. I mean, but, 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 I don't, but it's not my experience. Says who? <laughs> who can declare that other than oneness? There's not anything other than oneness. Nothing but oneness can declare that. This is what oneness looks like. When you look around your room there, when you look at this video, when you look at the ceiling, it makes no difference. In whatever direction you're looking at, if there's only one thing going on, what is it that you are looking at? Oneness. And if you go look in a mirror, what are you looking at? Oneness. And what is it that's looking in the mirror? Oneness. It really is this simple. See, this is the thing, is that we all, I don't deal with anything but smart people. I really, I don't. Just, just stupid people just don't call me. So, so the ignorant people call me, but not they're not stupid. They're very smart, all of them. But they're so smart that that, 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 that that great big brain of yours has been looking for the secret handshake to all this obviousness. Gee, I'm looking for oneness, right? Well, it's got to be around here somewhere, doesn't it? I mean, you'd think if it was oneness, it would be easier to find than this. For who? The seeker is the sought, folks. The seeker is the sought. Who's on search for oneness? Can it be other than oneness? No. If oneness is looking for oneness and expecting to find it over there, how much luck do you think oneness is going to have? If I am oneness and I expect him, and there's only this, so there can't be anything, quote, there's no over there, there, there's only this. So where's oneness? <gasps> this is it. This is it. But it's this, this that I'm talking about. It's not some other distant this or anything. It's this, this that I'm talking about. This is actually oneness. And since I'm oneness, there can't actually be anything other than oneness. There can't be anything in addition to oneness. It, it can only be, doggone it, oneness. So when they talk about that oneness is a boundless thing, they are, they, they're, they're talking about that it's inclusive of this unit. They're inclusive of the one that's listening to this and say, I, I just, I just, I just oh, I'm right on it. I just know he's going to say the thing that's going to wake me up in just a minute. Who is saying that? There's only one thing going on. That's oneness when you know yourself as variety, and it's the void when you know yourself as sameness. Oneness, void, two sides of the same coin, with, and there's no coin in between. <laughs> This thing is so obvious. Haven't you always heard it was obvious? Haven't you? Didn't they always tell you for this thing? Oh, this 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 thing is. This will be the most obvious thing. Well, it's only obvious in reverse. You know, when you're looking in the rearview mirror is what I mean. It's after the fact. It's obvious. Before the fact, it's just you can't see it for anything because you're expecting to see it somewhere out here. When we say it's an inside job, don't look in the body. <laughs> where, where is this oneness? It's got to be in there somewhere. I'm not sure I have a large enough shirt to contain oneness. Maybe I need to get a bigger uh, shirt, a bigger vest, to, so I can hold this oneness, right? But the only thing being is if I got a bigger shirt and a bigger vest to hold oneness in, they'd have to be part of oneness, couldn't they? Wouldn't they? I mean, they can't, I can't hold oneness with anything, including my brain. The part cannot contain the whole. But the whole can very easily contain the part. Folks, wreck it. Go ahead. Just come out of denial. 
save yourself 300 bucks and an hour and a half with me still actually still be good let me plug myself I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to ruin my career with this video. <laughs> Actually, I can't ruin my career with this video because even if you do like a, it'll still. It we'll we'll still have plenty to talk about, because waking up is not the big deal. For six thousand years, we have been putting our entire focus on recognizing our true nature, wherever that is. I can help virtually anybody recognize their true nature in less than an hour. I may have just helped you do it in under 15 minutes. People write me all the time that they wake up from my videos. How many times are you waking up from, um, how many videos are you waking up from? I get that email all, of, all the time. I really do. I have to get emails all the time. I get, I've been getting email from, I've actually talked to a couple of guys recently who woke up from my book and they blew me away because you would think they just got the little pop because I'm used to getting that. These guys were full blown awake. And what they did was they read my books. That's honest to God. I'm, am, I, am I plugging books? Well, why not? Go ahead, Oneness. Buy your own damn books. <laughs> See, this is Oneness talking to Oneness about Oneness because there's nothing else to talk about. But you, but don't get me wrong, you are welcome to suffer. <laughs> If you want to insist on holding your position, you are quite welcome to suffer. I know what denial is like. I spent 20 years in denial as a practicing alcoholic. Everybody in the world could see that I was an alcoholic but me. The reason I didn't want to see that I was an alcoholic is that I'd have to quit drinking. And God Almighty, who wanted to do that? I mean, that was a, it was the best thing in the world. It was my best friend. It was the only relief I had. And I just couldn't see that it was steadily kicking my ass. And it's the same thing with this. You can be in denial, oneness. Okay, I see, understand, I'm only talking to oneness. I'm, there, there is no Bob Carroll, none of that. There's no one home. This is oneness speaking to oneness about oneness. I'm speaking to oneness within the mechanism of the dream, and I'm talking about the mechanism of the dream. This is one. This is one. Uh, um, uh, a, what would you say? A white unit? I mean, I can't think of. I can't even think of what I usually say. But but this is this is one dream person speaking to another dream person. It's one dream individual speaking to another dream individual. We are lucid dreamers. That's what I was going for. Is that we're lucid dreamers. But that's all. The other, yesterday, I watched a short video and it was on um, uh, virtual reality, which is, if you watch many of my videos, you know I'm just nuts about virtual reality because it's the perfect metaphor. It's not even hardly a metaphor. I mean, because see, this is, this experience that you're having right this moment, you're not, you're not a person experiencing this moment. You are a whiteness experiencing a person. <laughs> there's no person, but you're having the person experience. There's, when I say there's no person, woo, we could go back and forth about whether there's a body or not, and none of that matters, but there's certainly no Fred. We can prove that because if a burglar walks in here and looks behind this curtain, he will not see a Fred. He'll see a man in a, in a chair. He'll certainly see that, but he won't see a Fred. But if a friend of mine walks in, then, then, then they will see a Fred. I'll wave. They'll wave. We'll say hello. So the deal is, is that this, that was Betsy coming in, so it kind of broke my concentration for just a minute. So this, Where was I? So the reason that the that, that the burglar won't see the the, the Fred and, and won't see a Fred and my friend will see a Fred is because my friend brought a Fred with him and the burglar didn't. Yeah? Do you see that? My friend brought a Fred concept in his head and he compared it to this lump of conditioning. And he, and he went, oh, there's a Fred. That's what Freds look like. That, 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 there's a Fred. The burglar came in, and what he saw was a lump of conditioning. 
but hopefully he found it threatening and beat it out of the house. But he didn't bring a Fred. He can't see a Fred there. I can't see a Fred. I tell people in sessions, you know, uh, uh, we get to some point and I just say, look, I mean, I, I, I understand that there's a rumor of a, of a Bob, but I can't see a Bob. You know why I can't see a Bob, folks? The only thing I can ever see is myself. If I look up, down, left, right, any way I look, anywhere I look. If I look into the computer, if I look beyond the computer, if I look into the, the screen, beyond the screen, at the house, outside of the house, if I look at the city, if I look on Google Earth, the only thing I can see is me. And in, which includes the thing that I'm looking at Google Earth with, which is the computer, that's me, and the person that's, that's, that's doing, because this is a sensing device for oneness. I spoke of this, I spoke of this virtual reality. So this guy, it, they were showing the great Christmas gifts, right? And so this guy had the new Oculus Rift or whatever it is, and, it's a, and it, it wasn't a helmet, it's just a, but it's a massive, it's a massive headset, right? And he's got his headset, which includes, you know, cover, covering the eyes and all that kind of stuff. And, and, and that's his virtual helmet, if you will. That's his virtual head. And then he's got two little batons that look like microphone phones. And these are like his virtual hands, okay? And they're, they're showing this guy who's in the process of experiencing virtual reality. And, he's, and from, from my chair, understand, what I can see is a man doing this. Whoa. What I can see is a, is what would look like a lunatic, yeah. But you know, or maybe if I want to be very kind-hearted about it, I say it looks like somebody playing a game or something. But it really, I must say, it looked much more foolish than that to me. But I can't. But and notice, my experience is of the man. That man is my sensing device. But I'm not in that virtual reality. Now, I can't say that virtual reality in this case is not part of me because everything is. Because it's just one thing going on and nothing but oneness. I don't guess that a virtual reality can possibly be outside of that, can it? Nothing can be. Nothing can be. But I experience the man. The man experiences virtual reality. I, awakeness, experience Fred. And Fred experiences what? This virtual reality. But I want to, you know, when we're looking at that man in, over there in virtual reality. I asked a student this yesterday. It's this woman that woke up with me like in June or July. And oh my God, I mean, she's had just one session with me since. And she just, I mean, she, but you could see that, she, that it was so strong in her, she could barely keep her eyes open as we were talking. It was just hitting her so hard. And, and, but it was, it was amazing to watch and amazing to listen to her. And I asked her the question and I gave her that exact example. And I said, so is anything that's happening in that virtual reality, does anything that's happening over there actually matter? And she gave me the perfect answer. She gave me the awakened answer. She told me, not outside of that virtual reality. And that's perfect. That's perfect. I told that to Kenton yesterday anyway. Because <gasps> it was the perfect answer. It's the right answer. Because everything for the character, everything in that virtual reality, it certainly counts. It counts a lot. Well, no matter what's in that virtual reality, but in the Fred life, the virtual reality here is that Betsy and Willie and Dickens and Jack all matter a great deal to me, you know, and and the and my, my my home and my life and how much is in the bank and all of that stuff matters to Fredness. It or it counts to or it matters to Fredness, but Fredness is a dream. This is not Fred's dream. Fred is the dream. I'm dreaming the man. The man is maybe dream, is, is, is somehow dreaming the virtual reality. But, it, it's, but I'm dreaming the man. That's my experience. It's not Fred's dream. Fred is the dream. Fred is the dream. 
Because, see, Fred just thinks there's Fred plus oneness. Is that actually possible? Hell no. See, if there's just one thing going on, is there any way possible that you cannot be it? See, the front door is, I can't wait to get to it. I want to get to it. I want to get to it. The back door is simply, it's just inquiry. So if there's one thing going on, what is it that's looking for oneness? Just try to get out of that. Can you get out of that? No, you can't really. Not unless, not if, there's no one actually who will listen to this video who is right ready to tell themselves the truth who won't wake up. There may be dozens or hundreds of people that wake up from this video. It's that clear. I promise you. It's that clear. But see, the thing about this teaching is that it's a very, very sharp teaching and you have to be willing to tell yourself the truth before it's going to do you any good. This teaching is not for everybody. It's for worn out units. And we wear out over different time periods. One of the most awake students that I have woke up from my damn video course. He's been awake less than a year and Kent and I are both going, wow, look at, look at how awakeness is working through this thing. It's just... It's amazing to watch, isn't it, Adam? It's, it's, imag it's amazing to experience. And I got and and and, and 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 Lucas in Sweden is exactly the same way. It's just it's, and I got people all over the place, right? Rich people, poor people. I mean, that's the thing. Is but but uh, but I don't have people. I am these people. These people are not other than me. They're not even part of me because that still comes back to a, a, some feels like a center. They just are me. There's only me. There's only this. There's only one. So just keep asking yourself this question. If there's only one thing going on, and, yeah, and I think you can agree with that. You'll find ready agreement with that, I think. If there's just one thing going on, is there any way that I can't be it? Hmm. Don't try to figure out what that means. Look at the words. Okay, haven't you ever heard that thing that it, well, it's, you know, it's just, it's, it, that, that this truth that you're looking for is closer than close? Haven't you heard that? Well, what do you think they meant by that? It's closer than close. Well, if you're a unit, it's no such thing as closer than close, is there? There really is not. That's what confuses us. It confounds us. What kind of Zen Cohen is this? That the truth is closer than close. Well, it's not, it, it, it's, not, it's not difficult at all. It's impossible for a unit character to understand that. But awakeness sees it very clearly. I'm awakeness. I'm not this unit. I am the awake space. And guess what? Of course it's closer than close. Don't think there's not a closer than close. There is a closer than close if you're it. And there's no way you can't be it. Hmm. <sighs> Well, I've done my best to wake you up today. I hope, I hope, I hope, it's, I hope it's helped. The uh, come see me, and um, let's talk. Bye. <laughs>